This is the Manila Bulletin. Traversing time and truth since 1900. The newspaper with a century-long legacy of standing witness to the country's history and development. The Manila Bulletin's strong commitment to delivering news and information to the Filipino nation is a testament to its role in nation-building and empowering the Filipino people. The Manila Bulletin tells timely stories and timeless truths. And this is its story. At the beginning of the 20th century, at the heart of the sprawling New American Center in Southeast Asia, two Americans, Carson C. Taylor and H.G. Farvis, organized a shipping and commercial publication and called it the Daily Bulletin. It was renamed as the Manila Daily Bulletin in 1906. In 1957, the Manila Daily Bulletin became a Filipino-owned publication after it was acquired by Menzi & Company. Its publisher, Hans Menzi, laid the foundations of the broadsheet as the exponent of Philippine progress. In 1961, philanthropist and business tycoon Dr. Emilio T. Yap was elected director and vice chairman. Don Emilio was named chairman of the board in 1982. Under his leadership, the Manila Bulletin was ushered in a new era of journalism to become the nation's leading newspaper by investing in a computerized editorial system, first in Asia, and started publishing its full-color issue. Today, the Manila Bulletin is headed and managed by Chairman Basilio Yap and Dr. Emilio C. Yap III. The Manila Bulletin continues to chronicle the Philippines' current events and milestones. During the Japanese occupation in 1942, the Manila Daily Bulletin was forced to stop its operations, and in 1945, the Carriedo offices were reduced to rubble during the brutal Battle of Manila. When the late President Ferdinand Marcos declared martial law, the Manila Daily Bulletin ceased its operations once again, but after two months, it reopened and was renamed the Bulletin Today. In 1977, Bulletin Today upgraded its printing facilities, moved into its own and current location in Morales Street in Intramuros, and diversified its reach to the Philippine Panorama, its Sunday Magazine, and Tempo and Balita, its tabloid publications. As readers are in search for more diversified and specialized content, the Manila Bulletin launched several magazines and digests, such as Agriculture, Animal Scene, and going places. It also acquired local and vernacular favorites such as Liwayway, Hiligaynon, Bisaya, and Banawa. The Manila Bulletin transformed itself into a multi-platform media provider and innovated the newspaper reading experience by integrating special executions in its publications, including a 3D edition, NFC, QR codes, pop-ups, false covers, and belly bags. The Manila Bulletin also opened digital platforms such as a website, app, and eBay. Its website is one of the most visited and trusted Philippine news websites in the country. Its Facebook and Twitter accounts and YouTube channel are one of the most accessed in social media engaging the young generation of news and information consumer. Today, the Manila Bulletin strives to make the nation be fully informed, at the same time uplifting the Filipino spirit through theirs good news here. This is the Manila Bulletin. And the Manila Bulletin will continue to inform, inspire, empower, telling timely stories and timeless truths through this century and beyond.
ito ang Pambansang Komisyon para sa Kultura at Mga Sini o ang National Commission for Culture and the Arts na nagpapanatiling laging umaapoy magpakailanman ang lagablab ng imahinasyon para sa kasalukuyan na nagbibigay kapangyarihan sa sambayanang Pilipino. Sumasabuhay sa adhikain na ang kalinangang Pilipino ay bukal ng kagalingang pambansa at pandaidi. Sa hinaharap, inaasahan ang mas matatag na presensya sa mga rehiyon para sa mas malaganap na pagpapatupad ng mga polisiya at programang pangkultura. Ang lalo pang pagtataguyod ng mga creative industries. At ang patuloy na pagsigaw ng adhikain, ang ating kultura, marangal. Malikhain. Mapagbago. Filipino. much for joining us here today at Manila Bulletin Sketchfest 2021 Pinoy Pop Awarding of Winners Ceremony. Now it's so nice to see you all here once again but for those that just tuned in just now, hello to all of you. My name is Hanyo Busan, your host for today. Now to formally start the program, let's begin with our invocation followed by the Philippine National Anthem. Almighty God, we who work at the Manila Bulletin come to you with humble hearts. We praise and worship you, the creator and giver of life. We implore your mercy and seek your wisdom. We are filled with anxiety and fear as we endure the challenge of isolation and quarantine to contain the spread of a contagion and mitigate the effects of a pandemic. Give us strength as we carry on with our mission to inform to report the news that creates awareness so that people may act with purpose and direction. Enlighten us that we may also inspire and serve as carriers of hope and beyond the darkness of despair, a brighter future beckons. Protect our homes and families. Preserve our communities. Empower those in the front lines of health care, social amelioration, and public security. Bless our land and people. Fortify our will so that we may persevere and work together in the spirit of Bayanihan to heal as one. Be our guide in everything that we do and lead us to the rock that is higher than us. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory. Amen. Good morning everyone! 
would like to take this opportunity to acknowledge everyone who made Sketchfest 2021 possible. These, of course, include our sponsors and partners, the SM Store, Pioneer Insurance, your insurance, Grab Philippines, Casino Filipino, the National Commission for Culture and the Arts. Now, aside from our sponsors, we would, of course, like to thank you, our participants, for making this event possible and for joining all our various categories. You know, your response and support has again exceeded our expectations, considering our current situation. You know, and for this, we are truly grateful. Now, today is the day that we will be awarding our winners who joined our On The Spot category last November 13, 2021. Now, these are the winners of our Kitty, Junior, Senior, and our latest category, the Digital category. We will also be revealing the top three grand winners from our top 20 exhibition category finalists who were also announced last November 13, 2021. Now, speaking of the exhibition category, just in case you missed the highlights, here's a recap of what happened. Lahat naman sila magagaling at saka may talent. Ang pagkakaiba lang ay yung mga identity nila. Creative naman silang lahat. Sana dumami pa yung sasali at sana yung mga hindi nanalo sumali ulit. Tsaka kailangan tuloy-tuloy ang pag-aaral sa pagpipinta. Ganyan naman na isang artist eh. Kailangan dere-derecho. So tuloy ang laban. Mas masarap lumaban kaysa hindi. Very imaginative, very colorful ang mga entries na nakita ko today. Uh, and they were brave to use different mediums sa mga nilang mga trabaho. Um, kahit nasabihin natin yung kapanahunan ngayon ay medyo makulimlim no? uh, in terms of social experiences. No? Pero you'd see that the artist works uh, have exuberance, have joy uh, through the expression of colors no? even though they were dealing with uh, yung iba na aninag ko na may mga social reality silang inilagay, no? Pero I think uh, this body of work somehow embodies the idea of uh, uh, the Filipino using humor, using uh, yung, yung masiyahin at nakangiti rin palagi kahit amidst adversity. So this is a sort of a validation uh, for me that tuloy-tuloy uh, uh, pa rin yung pagkakwento, yung visual na mga artists despite uh, the difficulties and challenges of the times and that art will thrive. We encourage them no, to join our increasing field of contestants no, because this is really an opportunity for young artists especially to express themselves and uh, we would like to give them a venue where they can creatively apply no, their, their thoughts and insights and share it with the rest of our people.
thank you so much to our exhibition category judges, visual artist Dominic Rubio, visual artist Toy Emo, and to our Manila Bulletin publisher, Secretary Sunny Paloma. Now to continue on with the process of selecting our winners, may we now introduce our on-the-spot judges for the Kitty, Junior, Senior, and Digital categories. And they are visual artist Norli Meimban, visual artist Jovito Andres, and National Commission for Culture and the Arts Head of Public Affairs and Information Section, Rene Napenas. So thank you again to all our judges for your invaluable support for MB Sketchfest 2021 Pinoy Pop. Before we announce our winners, here are a few reminders. All winners will have to submit their winning artworks to the nearest Manila Bulletin branch to claim their prize. All prizes will be released on a scheduled basis. And for more information on the above, you may dial 02-8527-8121, local 308, or email sketchfest.manilabulletin at gmail.com. Now to recap our prizes, our winners will receive the following amounts in the form of cash and or gift certificates. So for the kitty category, third place gets 2,000 pesos, second place gets 3,000 pesos, and first place gets 5,000. For our junior category, third place gets 5,000, Second place gets 10,000 and our first place gets 15,000 pesos. For our senior category, we've got 10,000 pesos for the third prize, 20,000 pesos for our second prize, and 30,000 pesos for our first prize winner. Now moving on to our digital category, third place gets 10,000, second place gets 20,000 pesos, and first place gets 30,000 pesos. Our exhibition category finalists, well, there are 17 consolation prizes of 2,000 pesos each, and our third placer gets 20,000 pesos, our second placer gets 30,000 pesos, and our first placer gets 50,000 pesos. And the criteria for judging is as follows. 40% for adherence or relevance to the theme Pinoy Pop, 35% for creativity, and 25% for originality. Of course, that's 100%. Now, are you all excited already? I'm sure you are. I am just as excited as you. But before we get to the moment that we've all been waiting for, here are a few words from our sponsors.
ang Bansang Komisyon para sa Kultura at Mga Sini o ang National Commission for Culture and the Arts na nagpapanatiling laging umaapoy magpakailanman ang lagablab ng imahinasyon para sa kasalukuyan na nagbibigay kapangyarihan sa sambayanang Pilipino. Sumasabuhay sa adhikain na ang kalinangang Pilipino ay bukal ng kagalingang pambansa at pandaidi. Sa hinaharap, inaasahan ang mas matatag na presensya sa mga rehiyon para sa mas malaganap na pagpapatupad ng mga polisiya at programang pangkultura. Ang lalo pang pagtataguyod ng mga creative industries. At ang patuloy na pagsigaw ng adhikain, ang ating kultura, marangal. Malikhain. Mapagbago. Filipino. Sponsors and partners, the SM Store. Pioneer Insurance, your insurance. Grab Philippines. Casino Filipino. The National Commission for Culture and the Arts. But before we announce the winners and close this year's Sketchfest 2021, here is a message from Manila Bulletin's publisher, Secretary Sonny Coloma. On behalf of our Manila Bulletin family, Chairman Basilio Yap, President Emilio Yap III, I wish to thank all the participants in the 2021 MB Sketchfest. Our theme, Pinoy Icons, depicts the resiliency and strength of the Filipino spirit. Our icons in different fields of endeavor, such as culture, sports, entertainment, and other fields, remind us of the Filipinos' fighting spirit and the desire to succeed regardless of odds. These are icons that have stood the test of time as their recognition has extended across several generations. Whenever we come across a Filipino icon, we assure ourselves that Pinoys have the spirit, the guts, the courage, and the talent to succeed anywhere and anytime in any arena of competition or excellence. As we thank all of you, we ask you also to continue developing your skills by practicing your craft, by continuing to draw and sketch and imagine. For such is the bedrock of creativity and innovation, the desire to continually improve and the desire to attain improvement excellence and perfection. Mabuhay kayong lahat. Maraming maraming salamat mula sa pamilya ng Manila Bulletin. So, this is it everybody. This is the moment that we've all been waiting for. The announcement of our winners. For the kitty category, third place goes to Maria Felicity Tejada, Bonga. Second place goes to Kate Trisha Banal, Pambansang Simbolo at Yaman ng Bansa. First place goes to Zach Daniel Titulado, Noy Pitayo, Kultura Natin To. 
Congratulations, everyone. Now for the junior category. Third place goes to Glenn Leva, P-Pop Rising. Second place goes to Shannon Frances Bacos, Pop Celebration. And first place goes to Maria Angelica Tejada, Ang Cuento ng Mabuhay na Pilipinas. Now let's move on to the senior category. Third place goes to Anna Marie de la Cruz, Pinasaya. Second place goes to Niel Marcrade Silverderio, Aton Nibay. And a first place goes to Jesus Tejada, Kung Bakit Masarap Maging Pilipino. Now let's move on to the digital category. Third place goes to Wilfredo Caceres, Like, Share with Pride. Second place goes to Rina Alisa Pecajas, Tatak Pinoy. And first place goes to Zor Junavi Antokan, Ang Buhay Nating Kultura. Now for our exhibition category winners, and as you all know, we've already announced the top 20 finalists. So if you're already part of that list, then you're already a winner. Hence, our grand winners are as follows. Third place goes to Arthur Marcelo Tatak Pinoy. Second place goes to Davidson Tiongson Blue Jeans. And first place goes to Edgar Cruz Iconic. Congratulations to all our winners, truly well-deserved. Now, on behalf of the entire management of the Manila Bulletin, we're very grateful to those who made Sketchfest 2021 possible this year. To all our sponsors, partners, judges, of course, to all our participants, we hope to see you all again next year. Again, my name is Hanyo Busan. Thank you so much and be resilient. This is the Manila Bulletin. Traversing time and truth since 1900. The newspaper with a century-long legacy of standing witness to the country's history and development. The Manila Bulletin's strong commitment to delivering news and information to the Filipino nation is a testament to its role in nation-building and empowering the Filipino people. The Manila Bulletin tells timely stories and timeless truths. And this is its story. At the beginning of the 20th century, at the heart of the sprawling New American Center in Southeast Asia, two Americans, Carson C. Taylor and H.G. Farvis, organized a shipping and commercial publication and called it the Daily Bulletin. It was renamed as the Manila Daily Bulletin in 1906. In 1957, the Manila Daily Bulletin became a Filipino-owned publication after it was acquired by Menzi & Company. Its publisher, Hans Menzi, laid the foundations of the broadsheet as the exponent of Philippine progress. In 1961, philanthropist and business tycoon Dr. Emilio T. Yap was elected director and vice chairman. Don Emilio was named chairman of the board in 1982. Under his leadership, the Manila Bulletin was ushered in a new era of journalism to become the nation's leading newspaper by investing in a computerized editorial system, the first in Asia, and started publishing its full-color issue. Today, the Manila Bulletin is headed and managed by Chairman Basilio Yap and Dr. Emilio C. Yap III. The Manila Bulletin continues to chronicle the Philippines' current events and milestones. During the Japanese occupation in 1942, the Manila Daily Bulletin was forced to stop its operations, and in 1945, Carriado offices were reduced to rubble during the brutal Battle of Manila. When the late President Ferdinand Marcos declared martial law, the Manila Daily Bulletin ceased its operations once again, but after two months, it reopened and was renamed the Bulletin Today. In 1977, Bulletin Today upgraded its printing facilities, moved into its own and current location in Morales Street in Intramuros, and diversified its reach to the Philippine Panorama, its Sunday Magazine, and Tempo and Balita, its tabloid publications. As readers are in search for more diversified and specialized content, 
the Manila Bulletin launched several magazines and digests, such as Agriculture, Animal Scene, and Going Places. It also acquired local and vernacular favorites, such as Liwayway, Piligaynon, Bisaya, and Banawa. The Manila Bulletin transformed itself into a multi-platform media provider and innovated the newspaper reading experience by integrating special executions in its publications, including a 3D edition, NFC, QR codes, pop-ups, false covers, and belly bags. The Manila Bulletin also opened digital platforms such as a website, app, and eBay. Its website is one of the most visited and trusted Philippine news websites in the country. Its Facebook and Twitter accounts and YouTube channel are one of the most accessed in social media, engaging the young generation of news and information consumer. Today, the Manila Bulletin strives to make the nation be fully informed at the same time uplifting the Filipino spirit through theirs good news here. This is the Manila Bulletin. And the Manila Bulletin will continue to inform, inspire, empower, telling timely stories and timeless truths through this century and beyond. Pambansang Komisyon para sa Kultura at Mga Sini o ang National Commission for Culture and the Arts na nagpapanatiling laging umaapoy magpakailanman ang lagablab ng imahinasyon para sa kasalukuyan na nagbibigay kapangyarihan sa sambayanang Pilipino. Sumasabuhay sa adhikain na ang kalinangang Pilipino ay bukal ng kagalingang pambansa at pandaidi. Sa hinaharap, hinaasahan ang mas matatag na presensya sa mga rehiyon 
para sa mas malaganap na pagpapatupad ng mga polisiya at programang pangkultura. Ang lalo pang pagtataguyod ng mga creative industries. At ang patuloy na pagsigaw ng adhikain, ang ating kultura, marangal. Malikhain. Mapagbago. Philippines.